A biome is a collection of ecosystems that share similar climatic conditions and so give rise to similar vegetation patterns. Tundra is the world's coldest and driest biome as well as the world's youngest, forming only 10,000 years ago. The English word tundra comes from the Finnish word tanduria, meaning treeless plain. Almost all tundras are located in the northern hemisphere, south, south of the polar regions. However, small tundra-like areas do exist in Antarctica and in the southern hemisphere. Tundra biomes encircle the North Pole and extend south to the coniferous forests of the taiga. Tundra can be located at altitudes of 55 degrees to 70 degrees north. Some examples of tundra locations include northern Alaska, Canada, Greenland, Scandinavia, Siberia, Finland, Norway, Russia and Sweden. In the tundra there are no trees, however a thick mat of low growing plants like small shrubs are abundant. They, they are adapted to extreme environments and develop underground storage organs that, they, that are not affected by the permafrost. Animals in the area also have thick fur and small ears to reduce heat loss. The tundra has a, a very low biodiversity, approximately 1,700 species compared to over 40,000 species in the Amazon rainforest. The ground surface is a permanently frozen layer of gravel and finer soil material which may be deeper in summer than in winter, but still prevents the growth of large trees with deep root systems. The layer, this layer is often between 25 and 100 centimetres deep. When water saturates the upper surface, bogs and ponds often form, providing moisture for plants as well as breeding insects that attract many migrating birds. The most abundant source of photosynthesis in the tundra is lichens, meaning fungus and algae symbiosis. There are 1,700 species of plants in the tundra, mainly including low shrubs, reindeer mosses, grasses, etc. These plants are adapted to the harsh winds and disturbances of the soil. They are short and grouped together to resist the cold temperatures and are protected by the snow during the winter. They can also carry out photosynthesis at low temperatures and low light intensities. They reproduce by budding and division rather than pollen-like reproduction. Tundra is the coldest of all the biomes. All year round there are high winds and low temperatures. Accompanying this weather there is very little precipitation, poor nutrients and short growing seasons. Annual precipitation, including melting of snow, is only 15 to 25 centimetres and wind is often blowing at 50 to 100 kilometres an hour. The average winter temperature is minus 34 degrees Celsius and the average summer temperature is between 3 and 12 degrees Celsius. The average yearly temperature is minus 28 degrees Celsius. During the short summer, the top layer of permafrost may thaw just long enough to let plants grow and reproduce. The productivity of the tundra is very low. The decomposition process is also very slow. There is a very low biotic diversity. The growing season for plants is between 50 and 60 days a year. During the short summer, tundra plants take in carbon dioxide, sunlight and water in the process of photosynthesis, which has a byproduct of oxygen. Plants normally give off carbon dioxide when they decompose after they die, but because of the short, cool summer and freezing winter temperatures, plants can't decompose very well and are trapped in the permafrost. The net primary productivity is estimated as approximately 0.14 kg per metre squared per year. The tundra has a mean biomass per metre squared of 0.6 kg. As trees cannot decompose, their remains stay in the permafrost for thousands of years. In this way, the tundra traps the carbon dioxide and removes it from the atmosphere. But with global warming, the permafrost is melting, and as it does so, the, plants, the plant mass decomposes and returns carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. More people moving to the tundra to work in the mines and oil rigs has led to the creation of more towns and more roads. This has dis disrupted traditional feeding, migrating, and denning grounds for animals. If they stray too close to town, they are often shot. The Alaskan oil pipeline was built across a caribou migration route, and in some areas the caribou cannot cross over or under it. This often slows down their migration and hence breeding cannot take place. Pesticides are also carried along the food chain to the larger animals, 
with the toxic chem chemicals, often killing them. Pollution from mining and oil drilling has polluted, polluted the air, lakes and rivers as well. Interestingly, footprints and tire tracks can be visible in the permafrost for many years, and when the sun heats these marks, it causes the permafrost to melt, causing erosion. These marks actually get bigger and eventually turn into streams. In fact, today, tire tracks from World War II have grown so large that lakes have formed in some areas of the tundra. Some of the many animals in the tundra include herbivorous mammals, such as lemmings, voles, caribou, arctic hares and squirrels. Carnivorous mammals, such as arctic foxes, wolves and polar bears. Migratory birds, such as ravens, snow buntings, falcons, loons, sandpipers, terns, snowbirds and gulls. Insects, such as mosquitoes, flies, moths, grasshoppers, black flies, the arctic bumblebee, springtails, beetles and butterflies. Fish, such as cod, flatfish, salmon and trout. Mammals, such as pikers, marmots, mountain goats, sheep and elk. These animals are adapted to handle long, hard and cold winters and to breed and raise young quickly in the summer. Mammals and birds have additional insulation and form fat to keep them warm. Many animals hibernate during the winter because food is not abundant. No reptiles or amphibians live in the tundra because of the cold temperatures. This is an example of an arctic tundra food web. One example of a food chain seen here is that of the lichen. Lichens are producers and photosynthesize and are eaten by lemmings, which are eaten by arctic foxes, which are eaten by arctic wolves, which are hunted and perhaps eaten by humans. All of these organisms die and are broken down by bacteria and fungi.